just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Taud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker, why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. It starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? It is our greatest fear. So, Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling. And they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior Warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The Wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has 